this video, we're going to look at how to use a picker view in a uh, iPhone or iPad project. The picker view presents a scrolling control that will list data and we can choose items in the data and see information about that data item or use that information some way in our code. Picker views are a little bit different from the other controls that we've used thus far. They require a little more programming to set it up and make them work. Uh, much more programming than say we would use for a slider or a switch that we looked at uh, previously. So we're going to add our picker view to our project and then in the connections window we're going to drag the data source and the delegate outlets to the view controller icon at the top of our view controller window in the storyboard. Then to our view controller.swift uh, class we're going to add UI picker view data source and UI picker view delegate um, as extensions to our class. Since we were talking about creating uh, separate classes, we're going to do that to populate our picker view in this case. We're going to create a class to hold the data and we're going to populate that class on view did load. And then the programming we have to do to make this work. So we're going to create a number of components for the picker view. We're going to specify the number of rows in, in the component. We're going to specify the title for the row and the did select row. And that's all going to be in our view controller.swift code. So let's get started. I'm going to create a new project as a single view app. And I'm just going to name this uh, 08A Picker View Demo. Choose where I want to save it and we'll create it. We're going to use this just as a portrait, so I'm going to turn off the landscape views. And then we'll bring up our main storyboard. So in the library, at the bottom right, I'm going to search for picker. We see the date picker, which we looked at last week, and here's the picker view, which really is just a more general version of the date picker. I'm going to bring the picker view onto my screen. Let's put it up here towards the top. I'm going to add a label. Let's do a little title label at the very top of our screen. And the text for that will be Picker View Demo. And I want to center that label. Let's make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to do about 21 and We'll keep it black, but I'm going to make it bold. I'm going to add another label below the picker view. This is going to be for our output. And let's just make it a little bit bigger. I want to have several lines of information in this label. And I'm going to center the text in this label. We'll just put some information as our starting text. So we'll say choose a college above. Right. And let's make it so that this can hold about five or six lines of, of text. And then finally I'm going to add a little gray background to this so it, it uh, stands out against our white background. And there is our interface. I'm going to hide the structure and let's bring up the assistant editor so we can see our code for the view controller.swift. Okay, so I'm going to take the picker view and go to the connections inspector and we have for our outlets data source and delegate. I'm going to select the data source and I'm going to drag it over to the view controller icon. I'm going to do the same thing for the delegate. And I'm going to take the our label and control drag it to our Swift file and create an outlet for our label. We'll call it campus info label. It's going to be an outlet of type UI label. We'll say connect. And there is our label. 
Now we've been talking about creating uh, classes for our data. So we're going to create a class. We go to the edit, I'm sorry, go to the file menu and choose new file. We're going to create a Swift file. And I'm going to call this one uh, campus.swift. I'm going to hide the assistant editor for now, so we're just focusing on our Swift file. I'm going to command tab over to Microsoft Word and look at that class template that we created a couple weeks ago. And it just simply has the headers for our different areas of our class in terms of comments. I'm going to copy that, paste it in. We're going to create a class called Campus. So I'm going to highlight Student and replace student with the word campus. First thing we're gonna do is create some variables for our campus class. We're gonna have a variable for institution that will be of type string. And I'm gonna set it to just null to begin with, a null string. And then we need a variable for the city that the institution is located in. That will also be a string. We'll set it to quote, quote. I want to know the number of students in the institution. That will be an integer. And I want to know what year it was founded. We'll make that an integer as well. So there are the four variables or, or properties of our class. Now we need to create the initializer for our class. We'll do init. And we want to get the institution as a string, the city as a string, the number of students as an integer, and the year it was founded as an int. And we'll simply set self.institution equals our past value of institution, self.city equals the past value of city, self.students equals students, and self.founded equals founded. So that's our init method. I want to add a class down here. So I'm going to create a class called show data. It's not going to take any parameters, but it is going to return a string. And what we're going to return is a string in which we're going to interpolate the institution, I want to make that um, uppercase. So it's in all caps. And we'll say where it is located. Actually, I'm going to start a new line. So let's do a new line. Is located in, and we'll interpolate the city. And we'll do a period. I'm going to do another new line, in which we say founded in, and let's interpolate the value of founded. It has a student body of, and again, we're going to interpolate. This time we'll use students. And then we'll have the word students. Now, one thing I like to do, because students will be several thousand students, I like to format students with a comma separator between the thousands and the hundreds. We'll use a number formatter to make that happen. So let's create a 
constant named comma formatter, it's going to equal a number formatter object. We're going to set the user uses group separator to true. And then we're going to set the number style to dot decimal. And then I'm going to tell it what number I want to set into this style. So we'll create another constant called num students, and it's going to equal comma formatter dot string. And I want to take from in this number. And the value we want is students. OK, so that will create a string variable. Oops, I've got a capital U here. It will create a string variable. Um, our string constant named num students, and we're getting the warning we haven't used it yet. We're actually going to use it here. We're going to place students with num students, and that'll give us a comma separated value, and our warning goes away. And we have another warning here, um, basically asking us to use string describing to silence the warning. I'm just going to go ahead and fix that, and that warning will go away. So that is our class. Let's go to our storyboard, bring up our assistant editor for our view controller, and we're going to do some coding. So the next thing I need to do is add the extension for our picker view to our view controller class. And there I'm simply going to type a comma after UI view controller and add in UI picker view data source and a comma and another UI picker view delegate. I'm going to create a function to populate our colleges. I'm just going to call this populate colleges. It's not going to take any parameters, nor is it going to return anything. And then we're going to put our colleges into an array. So I'm going to come up here and create an array. I'll call the array college. It's going to be it's going to be an array of type campus, pulling from our campus Swift file. And that'll create our empty array. So in the populate colleges, then we're going to add data, add items to our college array. So college.append. What I'm going to append is I'm going to use the initializer from our campus class, and I need to pass it the institution. My first institution is going to be Arizona State University. The city it's located in, which is Tempe, Arizona. The number of students as an integer, which is 71,946. And then the, oops, the year it was founded, which was 1885. So that'll create my first data item. I want to add a bunch more, so I'm just going to copy this, paste, and then we can change the institution, the city, the students, and the founded.
I've gone ahead and added the data that I wanted here. Uh, it gives us five colleges for Arizona State University, Grand Canyon, Northern Arizona, South Mountain Community College, and University of Arizona. The next thing I need to do is create some code for our picker view. We need to tell it the number of components that are in the picker view. And I'm just going to start to type number of components. And I get number of components in picker view. That's exactly the method I want. I'm just going to select that. And it's asking me for the code. We only have one column, so we're just going to return one. And I'm going to type picker view. And there's some other items we need to add here. So you don't need to memorize all of these different methods. You can just simply type in picker view and then select from the, uh, the IntelliSense that comes up. The next item we want is the number of rows. So here is the number of rows. I'm just going to double click on that. Again, it's going to ask for some code. And my code here is going to be return. And what I'll return is the number of items in our college array. So we'll simply say return college.count. That way, as we add more colleges, it will simply add those colleges into the picker view without doing any additional coding. In our case here with five colleges, I could have said return five. I'm going to type picker view again. This time, we want the title for the row. And our code for the title of the row is going to be return college. I need to give it the index number. The index number is the row that we have uh, as a parameter here. So square bracket row dot, and I want the institution name. And then finally, I want the the method for uh, did select row. So once the user has made a choice, what are we going to do with that, with that selection? And here, all we're going to do is we're going to take campus info label. That was our label below the, the picker view. We're going to set the text equal to, and we're going to call that show data method from our college. So we want college dot row dot show data in parentheses for the method. So there's one more thing we need to do. We haven't populated our colleges. We haven't called this function. And we're going to do that from view did load. So after we load the view, we're going to populate colleges. And let's test our application. We'll run it in the iPhone 8 simulator. We're told the build succeeded. That's a great thing. There is our project running the simulator. We can select an item. So Northern Arizona University is located in Flagstaff, Arizona. Found in 1899 has a student body of, okay, now we have an optional here. So I want to unwrap that optional. So I'm going to stop the simulator. I'm going to go back to my campus Swift. Let's get rid of the assistant editor. And those number of students, I want to unwrap that. So we'll put an exclamation. I'm going to go back to the storyboard because I did notice one thing. I think I'd like to stretch my feedback out a little bit more and maybe extend it a little bit deeper. And while I'm here, I'm just going to bring this down slightly. I'm going to bring my label down slightly. So if I have a title bar at the top eventually it's not going to be uh, cut off. All right let's try this again. So now my data is showing up as far as the number of students as a comma separated non-optional value and here is South Mountain Community College. So it looks like all of these work. I'm going to pull the data from our array and show us the name of the college in uppercase, where it's located, when it was founded, and the number of students.
I hope you enjoyed this video and look for ways that you can use the picker view in your projects.